Oh, alrighty. <clears throat> so let's go get that. No, no, no. I bet that guy's about to get that, huh? Yeah. Well, let's get that then. Come on, take it to the limit. I can't leave. Oh. Wait. I can leave. There was a lot of fighting there, though. That's crazy. Alright, let's just go here and... I don't know. I haven't. I haven't tried it. This is my first time really playing with. Doctor Bork is not exactly. Makes me think. Uh, you know. But I'm dealing with the top brass here. Eh. It is pretty large, though. Um, I'll say that. <clears throat> You're right there. Signal detected. Oh man, that's Timmy Grills. It's Timmy Grills' place. What the heck is this? Oh, if I'll you go tune there. Our warp frequency just right, I'll go there. Sometimes pick up residual data transmissions bouncing around the old warp network. Just popping Though around the are smashed beyond repair some seem to be able to hang on to those low density data packets like a ghostly reminder of our past mm, spooky well let's view it too I guess huh Dr. Carl Menford has had a long you know, history is. of mental instability, despite having an uncanny level of intelligence. Though he is physically harmless, he has worked on several controversial UTA projects, including the now discontinued lockdown vaccination for children. After a short time on the run, he discovered Don Gibson and the massive clockwork ship he was building. Appalled by obvious design flaws, he offered his services as head engineer. Though the rest of the crew is perpetually annoyed by his horrific manner, he proved to be indispensable in helping reach the core and destroying the dark entity. That knucklehead. Alright, what? The game wants me to go here, okay. At least that's what it seems like. Oh, yes. Finding good, fresh, refined alloys isn't easy. Everyone wants them, but nobody's making them. Even if we don't immediately require scrap, it's good to keep some around for trade. Every space nugget in the void will accept it as currency. Space nugget. Uh, 
I sense some underdeveloped crew oh, require contextualization about how urgently we require these basic resources. More specifically, human resources. The ship requires an astronomical volume of periodic maintenance and repair. These tasks are far too dangerous to allow anyone with a shred of intellectual value to perform them. Therefore, we do not turn away many applicants. Remember, the bottom of the pyramid needs the most bricks. cooperate, maintain the ship's systems, but we also don't want to feed any more mouths than we must. Most of our food is fabricated from res. Balance is the word of the day here. Goons, okay. Need a few goons here and there, I see. got to have just enough goons and just enough res. That's what I always said. Get up on it now. As much as I detest this hellborn excrement, we're stuck in a universe addicted to res. We are no different. Without it, the res drive will collapse, leaving us to limp along at subwarp. We'll be easy pickings for bandits. Or anyone else looking to kick us while we're down. Oh yeah, so what's it want now? What's what's the game want now? Now that we have some currency to spend, we should stock up on strike craft. We do not want to get overwhelmed when engaged by multiple targets. Plus, it gives our enemy something else to shoot at instead of us. Okay. Oh. Awareness expanded. <clears throat> No. We wouldn't be a very respectable mothership without some sort of support fleet. I would advise we keep our hangars fully stocked with strike craft at all times. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a healthy menu of ships to choose from at the moment, but that will certainly change in time. Every enemy strike craft we <clears throat> destroy presents an opportunity to salvage blueprints for new ships. Plus, it'll give Carl something to do instead of pissing me off to no end. You know, Carl does need a lot of help. Let me take her. Take her. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with my ship being known as the short bus. Wow. So yeah, okay. Oh, for gamma's sake. Why did we drop out of warp? Carl, what is wrong with my ship? Nothing is wrong with the ship, Elsa. I've scheduled a combat drill for today. We're getting a little too soft for my liking. Jameson, it's three in the morning. What? All of the ship's command and control systems are routed through a wireless assisted simulation. Huh. The benefit of such a system is you do not have to be physically on a ship to fly it. You can astral project your command focus to another ship, while huh. delegating the control of the mothership to artificial intelligence. While it would make almost too much sense to allow the artificial intelligence to fly every ship, that theoretically would take all the fun out of it.
Attack target. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. This Let's guy. Let's try something a bit bigger. Yeah, no, I don't mind uh, the combat so far. It's pretty entertaining. Unless this, unless this to kill an asteroid. Oh, that one. My bad. Engaging. Engaging. There we go. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. We have no, sufficiently <laughs> asserted ourselves over this inanimate material. Thank Surely God. We must be done with these mindless examinations of competence by now. Probably, Carl, probably not. Your way out of a wet paper bag. These drills just might save your life someday. You'd be wise to put this inanimate material to use before trying your luck on something that could shoot back. That's a good point, Carl. How does one leave the area? Oh, oh. Durr. Um, whoa. My happy place. Oh. It is here my power grows. Using the data we have acquired from the sensors, I can refine our ships and equipment. While I would adore being able to refine every single archaic piece of junk on board, the physical nature of the universe forbids it. Treat the data analytics with respect. There is research data that has not yet been allocated. Consider not not allocating it and instead allocate it. <coughs> Wait, what? Uh huh. Nah, uh, um, I'm gonna go with health. Well, I mean, everybody has to have an icon, so Left Empty now has an icon. Um. Let's go grab some of this stuff, huh? Added to cargo hold. Now that we have strike craft of our own, we should learn how to fight against them. It's a big galaxy, but we're not original thinkers here. Oh. We should be able to locate a border raid to have our way with. It should be no match for the combined force of our mothership and strike craft. Game saved. Wait, where's this dude want me to go now? This crazy man. Now that we are finally underway, let me remind you that you cannot simply urinate in the corner and proclaim you are the alpha meat husk. You are a minuscule fish in an otherwise colossal ocean of galactic proportions. True. Unless you wish to be dead before breakfast, read the advisory overlays I have painstakingly programmed for your survival. Do not just click past them and complain on the galactic forums that you did not get the memo. Ignorance will not be excused. Read or die. Please familiarize yourself with the star map command functions. If you do not assimilate this information now, it will be waiting for you at dinner time. Wherever you go, whatever you do, this information will be waiting for you. <clears throat> Uh, there's 
there's been a, a number of talking things going on out there. Attacking for three dudes seems excessive. Scanning area. Signal detected. Oh, that res place just got... No, no, there's still res there. Ooh. That looks good, though. What the heck's going on here? Oh, it's blocked by a battle. Let's go get this lore. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm good at this. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm the best. Breach incident occurred when uh -oh. the first Titan Gate was successfully bypassed by an unregistered traveler, oh. ending the lockdown wars. Though no infected vessels were ever able to escape through the breach, it was widely publicized as the cause of the infection itself. Unbeknownst to the general public at the time, the infection had ravaged the core worlds for centuries beforehand. The breach became a UTA scapegoat to cover up years of concealed conflict. God, those jerks. I know, there's a lot of info. It makes me sad. Um, we're just kind of scooting around, huh? Wait, what? What does that mean? Well, sure, let's view this too, I guess. Get our learn on. The Jane Frame 9000 Integrated Self-Aware Hyper-Intelligent <laughs> Operating System, ME, is a specialized back-end designed exclusively for busy space pirates on the go. Ooh. While the standard weapon and defensive subsystems remain mostly unchanged from last iteration, sure. and now have dedicated ports for both a cappuccino machine and elderly assistance railings for escalators. My onboard power supply uses 1.21 gigawatts less energy, resulting in an 80% drop in combustion-related incidents. That seems good. That seems real good. You know, that's like what I know. She's like, kind of strange looking, you know. I understand what they're going for. It's just kind of like this whole thing here is kind of weird. Whatever's going on. I just didn't get that. But anyway. Oh, some rails. Uh, we got a lot of rails. Um, uh, that's a lot. Of, no, I don't really care. Got a lot of clones, too. Wait, wait. Oh my god, did it finally show me somewhere to go? Let's finally go somewhere. What the hell? Uh, I mean, we have like a lot of everything. I mean, the ship just kind of sucks. And you're like, no, it's you that sucks. And now you're right, I suck too. But wait, what's this? Uh, 
I don't care. Stan? Yeah, maybe I don't want to screw with Stan. I don't know. Wait, what's this? A raid? Uh, let's get on. You don't. I'm going. I'm gonna. Do you know whoa. what the definition of insanity whoa. is? Well, it is not doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. I checked the dictionary. Was well, it taking However, my pants off? Literally, the definition of practice. We have all practiced this over and over. Now let's drop those training wheels and execute. Execute what? Practice is irrelevant. The command and control well, pardon me. Good is Lord. The so sorry. Brain matter on board. Simply change the pre-configured weapon configuration to my experimental battle wagon mode. Do it. The ship's weapon systems will track and fire independently, unfettered by human ineptitude. Uh, Q is the next weapon group. Yeah, Carl's a little creepy. So let's say I'm gonna be this little guy instead. That's right. I'm calling the shots. All right. We've graduated from inanimate material to ships a tenth of our size. It's a famous step, but I'll take what I can get from this bunch. Are we done burning bugs with a magnifying glass? Good. Okay. Let's carry on. Second start of the aft. Oh. Oh. Is there any like awesome loot or anything? No. Is that a big old no? all this crap. Oh, uh, yeah. Mario had a Tanuki suit. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and it is just like Tom. Sorry you didn't mention that, but yeah. Oh, anyway, let's go to the star map, whatever. What do these jerks want for me now? Now that we have achieved a base level of technology, yeah, Super Mario 3, yeah. There's no reason to tow around with this useless garbage. Trade, steal, kill, rinse, repeat. If I have to look at this eyesore much longer, 
I will gouge your eyes out. Okay, well, let's... Well, let's go there. What is this? Just left wings. That's not cool. They don't have, don't have anything. They're like, eh. sorry, we just do left wings, man. We we just didn't want to get into the right wing business. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, it wants me to get one of those, right? <coughs> so I guess that goes, that's, uh, okay, that's cool, I guess, right? So, No, I cannot, Chappers. I'm not a cheater. I'm not going to rotate a left wing and make it a right wing. You make me sick, sir. So... So I need to equip this. But I don't really know how to do that, but we'll figure it out here real quick. Okay, so Ain't nothing's whoa. to be solitary in nature. That's why you have two kidneys, huh? Oh yeah. Break up the middle mother nice and neighborly, so you only have yeah. to be booked up at one time. It's that time of year, you know. Uh, okay, sure, um, is this my, okay. I'm gonna try not to die, I promise. To be, you know, in my defense last time, you were gone for a long time. Get out of here. <laughs> 